falling in such a mm -hmm. short amount of time. Griffin, I, it's just a mess out there. It really is, and it's really dangerous to be out and about right now. Case in point, you know, the Tuscaloosa Police Department has Paul Bryant Drive blocked off from all of the standing water on the roadways. There's Bryant Denny Stadium. If you can see it off in the distance looking west from DCH, it has just been relentless tonight with the rainfall in Tuscaloosa as these stationary bands of rainfall associated with Tropical Depression Claudette, that's what it's being called now, now that it's weakened a little bit, have just been kind of sitting over the area right on top of the 5920 corridor between Tuscaloosa and Birmingham is where a lot of this persistently heavy rain Rainfall has set up. Here's the radar right now. A lot of heavy rain coming down now across much of Jefferson County, and that extends northward up towards Blunt County, Coleman County. But obviously, the main core, the flash flooding, has been farther south. Look at this. This is the rainfall over the past 12 hours. The estimates around six and a half inches of rainfall in parts of downtown Tuscaloosa, closer to seven inches up towards Lake Tuscaloosa in a really short amount of time as well. Also had a report from uh, Dr. Laura Myers of eight inches of rain that's fallen uh, at her house in Tuscaloosa as well. Just incredible how uh, fast these, this uh, rainfall is really set up. And up to the northeast, up into Jefferson County, we've got more of these flash flood reports that extend all across Northport and Tuscaloosa. Definitely not a night that you need to be out and about. Stay off the roads if you can help it. Turn around, don't drown. Only drive if it's, in a, if it's an emergency. Right now, around two and a half to three inches of rainfall across much of Jefferson County, which is still really significant, uh, to say the least. So that flash flood warning continues until 1215 AM uh, into Sunday morning. Another flash flood warning up towards Weiss Lake and Fort Payne, Northern Cherokee County seeing a little bit of the action as well uh, as what's left of Claudette continues to move through the area. It's moving northeast at around 15 to 20 miles per hour now, and that should eventually put it over into Georgia early tomorrow morning. Here's the future uh, future scan over the next hour. You see most of that rain kind of fanning out a little bit, turns a little bit less focused in terms of where all the torrential rainfall is. Winds right now at 30 miles per hour. There's the center of circulation there. So again, that'll be moving into Georgia over the next few hours and the rainfall will subside. Here's the forecast track. Actually, a hurricane center has it re-strengthening back into a tropical storm by uh, what looks like early Monday morning and then moves out towards Newfoundland and Nova Scotia by Tuesday. So again, the rainfall total is really impressive. there. officially seven inches tonight in Tuscaloosa. Just incredible. And again, by 2 a.m., most of that rainfall pushing over to the east. Here's that latest future cast. Some more scattered showers early tomorrow morning, but it finally comes to an end for folks in Tuscaloosa by around sunrise tomorrow morning. Then we see some sunshine for Father's Day mixed in with the clouds. It's going to be hot and humid out there as those highs kind of get up into the uh, mid 80s. The feels like temperatures in the mid 90s. That rain chance highest over to the east for tomorrow for Father's Day. Here's that full seven day forecast. Scattered storms again back in the forecast. Not too confident we'll see severe weather with that. But again, another solid chance of rain there continuing into Tuesday morning. Then most of next week staying pretty consistent for summer. Mid to upper 80s with sparse chances of rain.